Welcome to another episode of Dan Factoids, in which we address critical questions that divers have about diving safety issues. In this edition, we'll be discussing the question of returning to diving after having a tympanoplasty, which is essentially a patching of the eardrum. Keep watching. Tympanoplasty is a surgical procedure that is intended to restore the anatomy of the middle ear after loss or partial loss of the eardrum. Now this loss may range from a small perforation or hole in the eardrum to a major reconstruction. There are basically five different types of tympanoplasty that range from simple patching to complex reconstruction of the middle ear and the conductive hearing system, including the eardrum. So the answer to the question whether it is possible to return to diving after tympanoplasty would require that a number of additional questions be answered. Firstly, what caused the perforation in the tympanic membrane in the first place? If it was the result of diving, then it would be very important to know that eustachian tube function has returned to normal and that the underlying problem that led to the perforation in the first place is no longer present. If, secondly, the perforation was caused by some other disease process like a chronic infection, even like tuberculosis, a tumor or cholesteatoma, which is essentially a ball of ear skin that settles in the top of the eardrum and may cause damage to the ear bones, not only the eardrum, then the extent of repair and the function of the ear as well as the eustachian tube must be considered. So the short answer here would be to consult the ENT, preferably the one who did the tympanoplasty, about further diving or you can send us more information and details about the background that led to the rupture or perforation of the eardrum. We may be able to help with better answers or refer you to a diving ENT that may have some additional insight. What we can say, thirdly, is this. There have been at least two formal studies in which divers have been followed up after undergoing so-called cartilage palisade tympanoplasties, which is where the eardrum is supported by little pillars of cartilage. The divers did well in all respects. Eustachian tube function was normal. Hearing was preserved. The ability to equalize was unaffected and there were no occurrences or reoccurrences of perforations over a period of at least six months. So to keep things simple, simple perforations, for instance those that may occur after diving and neglecting to equalize, or falling into water after coming off your water ski, or having some other pressure related rupture of the eardrum, is usually not an issue. And as long as the person is able to equalize once the tympanoplasty has healed, which usually takes about six months, there does not seem to be a problem in returning to diving. Individuals who have had some underlying illness that led to the perforation should ask their ENT, and again, if their ENT is not familiar enough with diving, Dan might provide you with names of ENTs who have a particular interest in diving and may be able to give you better answers that are diving related. With that, thanks again for asking these questions. We hope that these factoids continue to be helpful to you. So please subscribe and give us feedback and keep those questions coming. The more details, the better. With that, until next time, safe diving.